So welcome back. We're still covering our PSMT genre guide thing here. Uh, now we've covered mathematical concepts and techniques in the last video. In this one, we're going to cover all of that. All right, so we'll see how we go. Might take two videos. Let's see. This section is probably the bulk of your report. It's where you're doing a bunch of maths to come up with whatever solution you're trying to come up with. I think a mistake that students make though is focusing so heavily on this that they don't look at the other sections until it's too late. Um, seven out of your 20 marks, depending on how you want to calculate it, are contained within this section, which means that 13 of your marks are kind of contained either outside of it or only partly within this section. So. That said, in the developing a solution model uh, section, we're trying to hit all of those dot put points, accurate use of complex procedures, discerning application of mathematical concepts and techniques, and accurate and appropriate use of technology. We're also trying to hit this one here, justification of decisions made using mathematical reasoning. And some might also argue that we're trying to hit that dot point that I think we hit really hard in that last section, uh, translation of all aspects of the problem. You can set up this section however you want, but I tend to set them up in subsections. So the big thing is topic three, like heading three, developing a solution. And then 3.1 is the first part of your solution, the next step, the next step. And under each of those, you've got words and equations and tables and graphs, etc. Um, that's, I think, the best way to set it out. It's easy for your teacher to follow. They know what you're trying to achieve in each step of your working. In this section, I think you really want to have words, equations, diagrams, tables, and screenshots of technology use. And if you've got all five of those things happening within your developing a solution section, then you're probably doing a really good job. Now, is it possible that a PSMT would not have a table in it? Yeah, I guess. Is it possible that it wouldn't have a diagram in it? Possibly. Is it possible that it wouldn't have words in the solution section? If it doesn't have words in the solution section, then you are not justifying decisions made using mathematical reasoning, which is a problem. Uh, does it have equations? I've seen developing a solution section without equations. If that's happening, you've, you've moved away from maths territory and now you're like straight up English student. It's got to have equations in there. You're using uh, complex procedures to reach a valid solution. Um, diagrams and tables are really good ways of showing your work and communicating your work. Screenshots of technology use. If you don't have screenshots of your technology use, you're not hitting this accurate and appropriate use of technology. Danger. Uh, I have seen students again and again put their screenshots of their technology use into their appendices. If you do that, you're in big trouble because your teacher really can't find evidence of your work in your appendices. Your appendices are off limits for marking. So if you put screenshots of all of your amazing technology use in your appendices, then you're not going to hit that dot point at all. I was in a very unfortunate position a couple of years ago. A student had written an incredible Python program that did some simulation stuff. And they'd taken that incredible Python program and just shoved it all into their appendices. And all I saw in the thing was uh, a reference to some kind of Python program. At least show me some sort of excerpt of the code or some sort of pseudo code explanation of how that code works. Okay, enough of a rant. I don't think you'll see this diagram anywhere else because I made it this morning. Um, but I think that this is a really good piece of advice for structuring your developing a solution section. So justify in words what you're about to do. We're talking sentences. See the word justify. We're trying to hit that justification of mathematical decisions mark. And then do some maths, equations, graphs, tables, technology screenshots. After you've done that maths, make some sort of observation about it or justify whether it's reasonable or not. 
Now we're smashing another dot point that we didn't even consider, reasonableness of your solution. And then go back to the start of this cycle and do the next step of your solution. Now, all of that without an example, pretty useless. Let's look at an example. So here's an example I made up this morning. So this uh, is some sort of assignment on like building a fly flying fox. Explain what you're doing and justify why you're doing it. First, the length of the hypotenuse must be calculated. This length will be the amount of steel cable required for the flying fox construction. Next, do some maths. So we've got an equation here and we've got a diagram there, right? So we're at this step of my little flow chart. Next bit is to make an observation about what you just found or uh, figure out whether it's reasonable or not. The length of the cable is five kilometers. This result is reasonable as the hypotenuse found is longer than each of the shorter sides. Hypotenuses are always longer than the shorter sides and is shorter than the sum of the shorter sides. In a triangle, one of the sides can't be longer than the sum of the two shorter sides. Think about it for a minute, uh, which would not be possible. Okay, so we've done some kind of reasonableness statement here. That's a mark, that's, that, that's something on the ISMG. And then using this length, the cost of the cable can now be calculated. And then we start that process again, talking about how we're gonna calculate the cost, calculating the cost, and then figuring out whether that cost is reasonable or making some sort of observation about that cost. So this section here, this bit here, could be you know 3.1, finding length of cable. And this one here, the next bit could be the next bit, which is um, calculating cost of cable. I shouldn't have put finding there, I should have put calculating, that would be better. Um, okay, so I hope this little flowchart thing helps you figure out a way or sort of keeps you mindful about the way you're communicating. Sentences, maths, diagrams, tables, graphs, um, and then some sort of statement about the solution you just found. Sorry, some sort of more than a statement, justification, reasonableness, etc. And then link into the next section. Okay, um, this video is getting longer, but I'm gonna stick with it and I hope you will too, because I just wanna talk about technology. Shouldn't be long. When it comes to use of technology, screenshots are your friend, right? Um, these are screenshots of what looks like a, a calculator, screenshots of a calculator there. Um, what else do we have? We've got screenshots here from Excel. We have an excerpt here where they discuss exactly what formula they're using that they think is like an important formula from that Excel form. Now, of course, I'll just jump in there. Of course, the QCAA does have something to say about this. It says, in the solve criterion, use of technology must go beyond simple computation. So you can't just show a picture of your calculator doing three plus four. Uh, that's just simple computation or word processing. You can't try to stand there and say, well, I used equation editor. Isn't that um, use of technology? It must be a key component in the development of the solution to the problem. Okay, uh, it also says evidence of accuracy and appropriateness should be identified, e.g. screenshot, screenshot of excerpt from spreadsheet showing formulas used. It's been a long video, but it has, is the longest section, so I guess that makes sense. Um, developing a solution, we're trying to hit these dot points. Sections, these things are what we want to see. Words, equations, diagrams, tables, and screenshots. This, I think it's a good way of working. I'm pretty proud of it. You should think about this. Um, and then make sure that you're showing your technology use. Screenshots in the body, not in your appendices. And that's how you're going to get through solutions.